Welcome to the Backspec Family YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan. Today, the entire family and I are visiting the Tolong Chong Market. We are gonna explore all the tasty treats that are here, meet some vendors, go on a boat ride, eat some delicious food, and we might end up meeting a new Muay Thai fighter at the end of the video. All right, everybody, let's get started. Do they smell good? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no, no. When you walk into the Talong Chong, you're immediately greeted with this like really nice shaded area of vendors on each side. Kind of a flower market to begin with. Yes, lots of plants, lots of fresh fruits and veggies and herbs coming up. So. All types of yummy. Well, we're gonna head down. I'm already seeing grilled fish, all types of things. Uh, can we please have one long gone juice? Yeah, please. Yes. Uh, nice. Yeah, nice. And this is a 30 baht. Is that like lychee? No lychee. No lychee. Yes, sorry. Young, young, young. Ah, okay, so not lychee. No, it's different. Give us a first reaction. Yeah, that's good. Is it taste? How's it taste? It's like like sweet. Excellent, nice. And it berries are just soaking in it. Yes. And you can see there's all types. I mean, just all the way down. There's vendors galore. Oh yeah, that's really good. Super sweet, cool, refreshing. Is it yeah. sweet naturally, or do you think there's uh, gula in there? I bet there's some gula in it. Almost like a brown sugar water. Ooh, nice. Can you try yeah. some? Ooh, yes. Thank you. Oh, and a little spoon. A little spoon yeah. to eat the fruit. I like it. Yeah. yeah. It definitely Good. tastes like the fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a sweet tea. tea. Oh, that's flipping delicious. <laughs> you know, a drink like this, and I can see where it's like 100 degrees outside, oh. and you would slam that. So refreshing. Right now, so it's 8.20 in the morning. Everything I read online about this market, you want to get here early because by 11, 11.30, this place is completely slammed. So 8, 8.20 right now, and uh, it's not so bad. I might get some passion fruit. Okay, right on. It's right there. Yeah, grab it. Here, I'm going to give you this. Here, wait, food. I got 20 in my pocket. Ooh, yes. Got a 20 in your pocket? Yeah, right there. Can I get one of these? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Yum. So a little bit of ice in there. Oh. I'm not gonna say anything about it yet. I want Cedar to try it. Okay. Passion fruit. We eat these a lot in, in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's sour. <laughs> it's sour. <laughs> All right, I'm jumping in there. It's basically the same, but sour and it's juice. It's wow, that start. It's got that huge ice cube in it, so it can melt all day while we're walking around. Yeah, now the thing about that ice cube is, you guys gotta be a little bit weary about iced drinks, but this would taste so darn good and refreshing. Worth the risk. We'll let you know later if anything happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we finished the juice, now it's on to eating the fruit. So that fruit, mm -hmm. is it? it's not lychee, but what is it? She called, it said longan. Longan, maybe longan is the name of it. But she said non lychee for sure, so maybe it's just like um, great, like a pear. What's the mm -hmm. other name of lychee? You know, the maybe long gone. Yeah, <laughs> it must be. You know, like mm, I can't think of it right now. The ones that there's because there's lychee with with lots of hairs, and then there's lychee without. Oh a lot yeah, of hairs. yeah, the more the brown skin. Yeah, so yeah. I think this might be the more of that one. Okay. Mmm. You want to try? Sure. It tastes like the inside of a grape. Yeah, I'm getting a pear, but grape but too. Pear the texture flavor. of a grape, flavor of a pear. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good, right? Nice. Eat as many as you can so it's hydrate. Okay, so we'll knock that out and continue our journey down the way here. Yes, thank you. Uh, no, um, Which one? Should I do corn or taro? Maybe taro. Yeah, I do taro for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is a sweet dessert. Yeah, I think it's like a coconut. Oh, I was trying to do some research on... Uh-oh. I may mess it up. <laughs> I need support. The support team's here. Yeah, leave it to the professionals. Yes. 
So at first I thought that this was sausage on there, but it's not. It's taro, which is like a root. Oh. Oh, with like a bit of a jelly on the bottom. There's something underneath it. Secrets. Oh, I hope it's pandan. It's the right color. Mm, smells sweet. And then the coconut on top. Oh, wow. This is so good. It's salty and sweet at the same time. Wow, right on. Salty and sweet, guys. Salty and sweet. Want to try it? Sure. This is the taro's like, like more potato texture. It's really thin. Um, <laughs> kind of just like that thing in Indonesia, the coconut balls with like oh, the yeah. brown sugar on the inside. Like the of? desserts. So, that... so, so it might be a pandan. Well, probably... Is this made with pandan? The uh, saku. 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 I'm going to Google Translate it later. It looks good. It's very good. Mmm. Now show me before I eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Yeah, good, right? Mm. Very good. And it's just like a little tiny portion, so you can eat it and move on it's to like the next stall. Salty and sweet, and like there's like little chunks or something. So how, the texture is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I better get it on that. It's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna give some try. Mm. Great. Yeah. I can see all this being uh, really good with hot weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Can I get one meatball stick? Yeah. Sure, yeah. That's gotta be some kind of sweet, tangy sauce. You think, Granite? Yeah. Pretty good. Thank you. Okay, so it's like a soy sauce, kind of like a sweet soy sauce, maybe. Is it sweet? Salty? When it's that color red, it's either hot or sweet. <laughs> it's both a little bit. Okay, it's spicy and sweet. Sweet and sour. Oh, sweet is and it, sour. What meat is it? Pork? Pork, yeah. Pork meatballs. It's like sweet and, it's like spicy and like a little bit sour. Excellent. Good treat? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, wow. Man, that's definitely got a little spice. Yeah, it's like a, and it's a little bit sour. Mm -hmm. It's tangy. Tangy and spicy. Hi, Crispy Pancakes. I guess I'm just make dirty. Thank you. Thank Rocha. you so much. Thai Crispy Pancakes. There's a difference. What is this one? The left coconut, the yellow egg yolk. Egg yolk and coconut. Yeah. Wow, that's going to be good. Okay, I'm going to jump in there on an egg. An egg. Okay, the texture immediately is like a thin little wafer. Shredded egg. That's going to be sweet and some kind of white paste. Is that coconut? That's coconut cats. That sounds awesome. Like it. It's so crispy. Yeah, it's like a little wafer. It is like a little wafer. Just tell them no. Oh, it's like a little wafer. Mmm, that's good. Mm. It's like a... A sweet... Creamy... Pancake. Nice, a sweet, creamy pancake. I'll give it a go. Mm. Like a little waffle comb. That's really good. Yeah, I think that's like a mushroom. It's a little fruit. Mm. Like a, no, sorry, not a mushroom. A marshmallow. Melt it. Fluffy marshmallow. Good texture description. And it's extra sweet. That egg yolk, it's gotta be with sugar. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. A nice little sweet treat. Some girl gave us this. Okay, well, what is it? I don't know. All right, go ahead and slam it. <laughs> and they give us their full report. Looks like a little tomato. Do I just eat a whole? Yeah, go sure. for it. <laughs> oh, tart? Wow. Sour? Yeah. Good sour or bad sour? Good sour. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a random girl just gave you this. Cool, oh, Granny, you want to take a bite of the sour thing? Oh, yeah, try it. All right. Looks so like a break. sour. Mmm. Super dry. With a pit. Wow. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. I'm going to go for this coconut one. Mmm. 
kind of looking closer, you can see we've got these really big ones here with lots of coconut or egg. I recommend this little set here because you get the best of all worlds. So yeah, quite delicious. Yes, more vegetarian food. I found banana in sticky rice grilled. And I also found, what is it, taro in sticky rice, which is like that potato or that root kind of vegetable. Which one are you gonna go with? Well, I just had the taro in the coconut. So maybe I'll go with banana. Okay, banana, yeah. Banana? Hello, sir. Banana. Yes. One, one. One. Open, open, open. Yes, please. Thank you. And it looks like charcoal. Yeah, charcoal. Hot. Smells really good. Oh, yeah. You, like you can get that charcoal, that charcoal flavor. It's, I bet it in it. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Uh, a baht, ten baht. Ten baht. Whoa. This looks amazing. Smells really good. Like that caramelized sweet potato or the banana sugars. Mmm. It's actually not too sweet. It's a sticky rice sweet, but not too much. Is that like mango sticky rice? Yeah. So there's a banana in there at some banana, point. Banana, yeah. But it's like, I didn't bite into the banana yet, but... Is there any condensed milk in that or no? Maybe. I can't tell. It's definitely sweet. Yeah. It doesn't... It's like mango sticky rice. They put it right on it. They squeeze it on it as extra, but this one's... Sweet, but it's not too sweet. Mm. Um, that's good. It's really good. It's like a... Why see sweet taste? Yeah, nice. it's How's like it make you feel, Cedar? Good. <laughs> it's yes. like mango sticky rice. Uh, it is like mango sticky rice. Of course, you want a bite of the sticky rice? No. Mm. Okay. It's really hot, so I have a feeling that Forrest is going to be sleeping through this video. <laughs> At some point. Some? Yeah, sure do. I didn't hit the banana yet. It's in there still. Okay, all right. Yeah, you can just see. It's all wrapped up in that leaf. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Good? Yep. Almost like a alcohol -y flavor so i wonder if that like grilling process is bringing out those sugars yeah really nice i bet it's the banana mm -hmm. banana that you're taking yeah really nice all right so we're now stepping closer to the river and this looks like one huge barge you can see a few ladies on those little long boats selling their items but down here now we're getting into the more seafood all this charcoal grilled fish salted fish we're gonna definitely have to get one of those guys what do you think about that salted fish what do you think about that salted fish? It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, there's a whole bunch of them over there. So let's do like, we're gonna do a little walk around and get our bearings here. But I read online that by 11 o'clock, these tables are gonna be slammed. And here it's only nine o'clock. So we've got a uh, the place to ourselves, essentially. That's Maybe really you should, awesome. yeah. So let's take a look so and see what we find. What are these here? These are 200 baht, oh, snake head fish. So not an actual snake, but snake head fish salted. 200 baht and it's lemongrass? The name here. Yeah, snakehead, okay. So it looks like it's still with lemongrass. You're gonna put it onto the grill. You, you grill here? Okay. I guess, should we get one of these? Okay. So I think what we're gonna do uh, from this lady here is get, it's right off the steps, this first vendor. Okay. We're gonna buy a snakehead fish. Snakehead fish. Snakehead fish. Okay. And then she's gonna charcoal it for us. So it two, looks like it's stuffed with stuff too. Yeah, I think lemongrass. Lemongrass and yeah. salted. That looks good. That looks good for you guys. Yeah. What is it, Cedar? Can we sit on the table? Yeah, but your shoes stay down. So we can go, let's sit on this one here. Okay. So your shoes come off and you can just sit on this side. Okay, I buy one. Wow, that's huge. I actually, I tried to pick the small fish. I don't know if you succeeded in that. No, the head's still here for us. So you get the mouth and the tail, the whole fish. Snake head fish. Snake head fish. Snake head fish. This, I think it's lemongrass. So when we were in Thailand before, granite was six, cedar was four. We ate one of these on one of the islands. I remember. Do you have memory of it? Yeah, I remember eating it over and over and over again. Yeah, so this uh, snake head fish, there are going to be bones in here, guys. Less bones towards the tail, more bones up here. So we'll just give it a try. And we came with a couple different sauces. We're going to definitely get in there. There we go. All right. Yeah, so fish, snakehead fish. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 
Tastes like cod. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, definitely a nice, robust flavor. Very mild. I think it's, it tastes like cod. Like codfish? Yeah. Do yeah, I, I can get that. Well, it comes with all these little accoutrements. Yeah, maybe some uh, pickles. Pickle. Yeah, cabbage. Mom can eat this. All right. It also came with a variety of these sauces. So I don't know which is which here. We've got uh, certainly one that's more green and one that's more brown. So I'll put a little brown dollop there. See, do I want to throw a little green on my plate? All right. Green and brown. See what's what. Yeah, go for it, guys. Help yourself. So we're going to get in there and see what's what. I'm going to go with that brown sauce first. Hmm. Mild. Brown is not spicy at all. I'm going to try the brown. Okay, the brown I thought was really good. It has like kind of a soy sauce type flavor to it. Not spicy. Mm. Yeah, it's good. The brown sauce. Yeah. It's like a sweet... Yeah, sweet kind of. Like a sweet... Like a sweet and like tangy flavor a little bit. Well, if brown is sweet and tangy, I have a hunch green is going to be peppery and spicy. Let's find out. Mmm. A little bit spicy. A little spicy on the green, but very delicious. I think I prefer green. There's got to be chilies in there. For me, I prefer brown. Yeah. This Excellent. Also came with it. Oh, so that might be a fish Maybe sauce a or something? Sauce. I don't know. Sauce. Fish or soy? Yeah, it could be. Uh, All right, Cedar, what's your favorite what sauce? So brown is like a spicy. Green is spicy, but good. Which is your? Which do you prefer? Green. Green? Oh, me too. Yeah, they're all. We like that spice. All right. Well, oh no, pretty good. Now, Kel, what are you gonna do with those noodles down there? Well, kind of cold and plain, or? Well, I was gonna leave him plain for four hours, but he's not hungry yet. So, um, if you just want a little, you want to mix your rice or fish with it. Yeah. And this is soy sauce. Oh, okay. Oh, right on. Do you okay. want to like drizzle any of that on the fish? Sure. If everyone wants to. Why not? Hey, do you want soy sauce? Do you want soy sauce on the fish? No, okay. We'll do it individually. Yeah. How about we put it in the plug? All right. Well, let's get it. I kind of want to get some of the salty, some of the salt bit just to see what that tastes like. Is that the sea salt? Hmm. Just pour salt. Oh, I don't know. It's definitely a like a big thick cut salt. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good. You can definitely get a little bit more of the um, fish flavor in that salt. That's because it's on that skin. But the inside, it doesn't have an abundantly fishy flavor, which I like. I like a more mellow fish. I do see a few bones, guys. Oh, you take all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. The uh, snake head fish, salted, really, really good for a good. They actually have a different type of fish up there, salted as well. So it probably has a different flavor, but this one's pretty good. This one I'm gonna put a lot on. Go for it. That chili pepper green. So brown is more mild than green. Look at all of that. Yum. Can you taste the lemongrass in it? Or the herbs? Yeah. A bit of an herbal penetration from the I'll lemongrass, see. maybe. Maybe. If you put a lot on, you can't really taste the spike. Spice. It comes out at the end. Yeah, that burn, that slow burn. Yeah. Now, guys, these greens, you know, I think what people can do, this is like a basil, is you can build yourself a little fish taco. Yeah. So just grab a piece of fish. It's good Wrap it up in the boat. Yeah? I got a few little bones in this piece. Gonna go with that brown sauce. With basil. Mm. Mm. Really good. In case you were wondering how fresh is our snake head salted fish. Again, they grilled them right over here. And right here is where the lady is stuffing the fish. So she's pulling the fish out of the bag, which I presume she bought at a bigger fish market, salting them, and then sticking in the skewer. All right, Kelly, after a kind of a meal of that fish and you ate some of those noodles, are you ready for a coffee? Yes. Okay. So right from the floating market barge right there, just right around the corner, you come into this traditional tea shop, tea coffee. So it looks like I can see all that tea and coffee just brewing right here. Hello. 
we order uh, hot, hot, hot coffee. Hot coffee. Yes. So we got the condensed milk. A generous portion of condensed milk. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, Cal. So we got the traditional. This one's traditional. Traditional coffee. Now they have a tea as well, but yeah, a ton, a, a, a generous portion of the condensed milk. It's gonna be so sweet. Yo. <laughs> uh, three, three babies. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Here we go. It is a little hot. Ooh, it is so good. It's really dark, but through that condensed milk, it's sweet. So uh, it's perfect. It's almost caramely tasting. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Anything with condensed milk like that is so good. It's not so really good. an ingredient <laughs> that we I use a ton of. Oh, this is tea. Tea. Cool. So we didn't order this, but uh, Let's we'll try give it traditional both. tea. Mm -hmm. Take a sip of oh, it. Oh, that's just hot tea, man. Wow. Yeah, really nice herbal. Is that one sweet? No, not at all. So this is not unsweetened and this uh black tea. This coffee I'm looking forward to. I typically drink my coffee black. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, caramely. Yeah. Caramel really nice. So yeah, condensed milk, not an ingredient we typically use a lot in the US, at least no. for me. But uh yeah, they use it a lot in Southeast totally Asia. And they're really good. <laughs> mm. So the, the hot coffee. The tea, very nice. 25 baht. All right, Granite and Cedar are gonna, they're, they're interested in giving the coffee a sip. Coffee. That's good, it's like sweet yeah. kind of. Yeah, oh, that's the condensed milk. There's, you get, there's little notes of bitter in there. Yeah, 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 I can taste the bitterness, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's trying to make you laugh. That's like a strong caramel taste. Pretty good? Yeah. Uh -huh. Granted, going back for seconds. It's kind of good. Yeah, see, it grows on you, huh? That kind of that coffee flavor. <laughs> Anytime you have a candy, like a hard candy that's this color, that's coffee flavored, this this is what that tastes like. One of those coffee candies. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, Boris. You want to go to the hotel because you're sweaty? All right, buddy. We'll, we'll, we'll head that way kind of soon. Mm. That's nice. Really good. So we've enjoyed all types of snacks so far here at the market. We've had that fish. We've had the coffee. I think it's time to get something a little more sweet. Yep. And this vendor right here caught my eye. And it's this rice traditional dessert, they're calling it, right in here. Some kind of steamed dessert. Coconut pudding. Ah, yes. Kam nam toy. Kanam, kanam toys? Kanom. Kanom. Uh, what? Two different. These are different. I think that's coconut. This is coconut. Like, yeah, coconut no. milk, coconut sugar. Oh, coconut milk and coconut sugar. How much we take? How? Uh, how many one of each at least? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's mixed. Like oh, mixed. Yeah. Ah, mix, mix. Yeah, yeah we take mix. Excellent. Thank you. you spoon. Oh yeah, a spoon. That's uh, good. Three's okay. Three. 
Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, so the lady gave me a tip on how to eat it. She basically said, you grab the thing, you start on the side of the bowl, scoop down and pour it, because I guess there's some, well, yours has like a little soft frosting in there, but either way, mm, the brown sugar one's outstanding. You want to switch, Cedar? All right, so here's brown sugar for Cedar. Here's white for me. Okay, so Cedar says layers. There's kind of two layers in there, like a darker layer and then that like white layer. Yeah, yeah, maybe. There's definitely layers in there. Mm, that is wow. good. Both are delicious. This one actually has layers too. I can kind of see them in there, but this is, uh, yeah, that's a sweet little treat right there. For this one, the top of one is lighter, it's darker than the bottom. The, the dark one's got to be the sugar. She said it was a uh, coconut sugar base. Wow, delicious. And Granite's gonna dig into his. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a very creamy and milky. And it tastes a lot like coconut. So it's like a creamy, milky coconut. Is the, is the white layer different flavor than the green layer? Yeah, like the green, and it's a different texture. Like the green layer is more like chewy and um, White layers like more like like soft, and the top one tastes like coconut, the, like coconut milk kind. And the bottom one tastes like uh, how do I describe it? Like a coconut sugar kind of. So yeah. tastes pretty good. All right, Kelly, are you up? I'm up. Digging in. So that's a milk coconut. This is the coconut milk. This is the coconut milk. Yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm scooping from the side. Whoa. Oh yeah, I can see those layers. Oh, that's so creamy. It's delicious. Yeah, it definitely has that Pandang um, vanilla -ish flavor at the bottom. And definitely two different textures. Yeah. That's good. And you're going to get into that brown sugar one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't tell which one I like better. I think both have uh, distinctly uh, delicious flavors. This is salty. Mm, salty yeah. flavor, does the other one? I wonder if they match salt with coconut traditionally, or, or generally, because I've had that kind of salty flavor with the white coconut before here. That's really good. It's like a... Can I taste like the second layer on that one? Like the bottom layer? So it's pretty Could be good. the same, same? I think I prefer the white one. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, that is really good too. Also has a little taste of salt in it too. Yeah. Quite delicious. You get your salt. Salty and sweet, huh? Mm -hmm. Salty and sweet. Very good. And custardy textures. Mm-hmm. Oh! Ta-da! Okay, look at the elephant. Okay. <laughs> okay. Forest. Sea forest is be much better. Is it better? I think I've hit my fill of um, sweets, but I might have to take some to go because check this out. He's making like granola straight over here. And then eventually it's going to be this. And it looks like there's different flavors. Like a sweet rice and maybe a uh, brown sugar mix. Try one, Cedar. Try one. Yeah, come over here. Let's try one. Sample. Mmm, that's good. Is it good? It's like a 
Like a nut. And, a, and maybe some, looks like some rice pieces. Yeah, like a peanut buttery nut. Here, oh, you nice. Try. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go too. Mmm. It's kind of like a granola bar. But look, he's making it right here. It's a sweet, the sweet, probably rice sugar or brown sugar. Mm. I think we're gonna need to buy some of this. She's gonna give me a fresh one. I'm so excited. It's warm and gooey. It's so good. Thank you. Ooh, it's still soft and warm. So yeah, definitely grab some of these for snacks for later, especially if somebody gets a little grumpy. Hey, you know where those snacks are gonna be delicious? On our private <gasps> boat tour. Oh yes. Yeah, so it is 9.45 right now. Our boat leaves at 10.20. So they, don't, okay. they have a limited number of private boats. Now I'm gonna show you where we got those tickets. So kind of from this picnic area, just right around the corner. So to show you it, you can't miss it. Basically the main corridor that we walk down dead ends at the boat tours. So, all right, so we walked down here. Now it's noticeably busier. It's 9.45 than when we got here. But you walk down the main path and right here are these uh, boat tours. So the lady explained the prices to me. This right here for 99 baht, this is a public boat. It's one hour long and it seats about 30. So, you know, maybe you would be on that boat, just you and your, your, your small group, but you could be up there with up to 30 people. So we opted for the private boats and they, they basically sell them right here. So a private boat, one hour is a thousand baht. So for our family of five, it's 200 baht per person if you want to think of it like that. That. So for double the price, that's a hundred baht difference, which is not very much money. That's like uh, two two dollars and change each extra. But now we are going to end up with a small private boat. It's one hour, and the guy's really sweet. He kind of talked to us about the path that it takes. And uh, there's another floating market right over here that we're going to stop at. So this is going to be like a, a bonus floating market. So he gives us you a ticket. Uh, again, these are scheduled, so it's not just hop on right when you get here. So see this guy first, and he'll tell you the different times that are available. So again, we've got. Oh, about a 30 minute wait and then we'll hop on our private boat and begin this uh, hour long tour. Can't wait to show you. So we've got half an hour till our boat leaves. What a great time to spend some money, huh? Oh, yes. Now you spotted something kind of cool. What is it? Um, Because we're in Thailand. Yep. And Thailand's amazing. Yes. And there's lots of things to do here. But one of the things I definitely want to not necessarily see, but have an adventure with the kids is through Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. <laughs> Excellent. Check this out. You know who those would fit, don't you? Little Muay Thai boxers for Forrest. Double X small. Oh my God. So these cute. are going to be sweets. So these are, they say 300 baht. Uh, that's a, again, that's like uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, eight bucks for a pair of uh, Muay Thai shorts. I think you might even like this one, Cal. There's a Red Bull branded one. I don't know what that says. I like those. Those are cool. And he likes red, so. Yes, yes. So we'll take a, yeah, they have, okay, they have lots of different sizes. Should we pull four some here to see if, if those are his size? Yeah. Thank you. Here's this. Yay, Boom, up. baby. Those are going to be so cute on Forest. Are those shorts? Yeah, they're like little they're boxing, boxing shorts. shorts. <laughs> oh, here oh, it look. comes. Speaking. Oh, we see something. Here, we can see if they're the right size right now. Forest. Forest. Check this out. Look what mom got for you. Oh, good. Boxing. These are for boxing. You want to try mine real quick? Don't eat Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's okay. It's good size. Oh, like this. But it's super good. Ready? Check that out. Muay Thai. That's great. They fit them really well. So while we're waiting for our boat, I came across this vendor right here. And it's all types of pork products. So you get, looks like to me, tripe, some kind of cut pork, and then the pig ears. 
That's what I'm after. Uh, you prefer the tongue? Tongue is the best. Okay, so this is this is the tongue. Yeah. The tongue in the ear. What is this one? Uh, this is like a this one. It look like a uh, It's mixed mix with the head and the nose and something. Okay, like so mix. now this is mixed. All right. Does she do? Does she serve like a mixed bag, where it's some ear, some tongue, some yeah. mix? We would like to try uh, mix. Yeah, mix. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, Awesome. So because of this gentleman's kindness, we got exactly a mix. We have the tongue, some ear, and then some of the snouts. Uh, would you like to uh, use it, include it, or, or separate? Together. Together uh, is more traditional. A it, it's quite hot. A little spicy? Can, can you taste the spicy? We're, we're going to find out. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. We want traditional. Ah, uh, flat Okay, have so, a nice trip. Thank you. Thank you Welcome. so much for the help. Welcome. Yeah, this is great. Again, a much more authentic experience because I was willing to talk to that stranger. That gentleman was so nice. So I was going to go just the ear, but it turns out they're selling, uh, this is gram. So 300 gram, 200 gram, 100 versus 70. We're going to go two grams. And it's just a flavor, a taste. And she's mixing the chili right in there. Oh, this is going to be good. So ear, tongue, snout. All right. Thank you so much. So we're going to have to take this sample of uh, mixed pig onto the boat. So the guy came to find us. The boat's here now. So we're going to eat this on the boat. You guys ready for a boat ride? Okay, see you there. This is totally awesome. We just barely left and I'm already like, must do. So when you come to the Talong Clan food market, you got to take a private boat ride. Beautiful. Pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, time to sample some of this pork. I'm going to go with one of these ear pieces first. A lot of kind of like cartilage flavors. Really delicious. Fatty and good. Try a big piece of that tongue. Mm. Oh, man. Tongue is outstanding. Granny, you want to get on some of this? Sure. Oh. Wow, really good. Let's see, is that like the ear? That's like, that might be, that's tongue. Or it might be snout. There's a big mixed platter. I think that's snout. It's really good. It's like sour a little bit. And it's also spicy. Yeah, that sour might be from the vinegar. Oh, good, good dish. Uh, you can just see those fatty pieces. Mm. So good. That mixed pork is where it's at. You saw on three? What are you guys seeing? Lizards and temples and pigeons. There was one lizard on the dead tree on my side. Oh my goodness. Man, awesome. The breeze you get off of a boat ride like this, top of the line, this is great. And for 200 baht each, totally worth it for an hour. All this wind and cool air is making forest rejuvenated, so he's ready to go. Don't fall in, whatever you do. Okay. 
Got it. 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Do you want change? Yeah. Okay. Two. All right. 54. 20 minutes to explore the market. From the Talong Chong market, you take that boat ride, they bring you to this market, which is way bigger. 20 minutes to explore, so 10.50. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, first stop at this new market, whose name I don't know, are these fried peanuts. So you've got this lady with like kind of a coconut peanut sauce, I'm guessing, frying them up from here into the basket. These just came off. Hello, sir, we buy uh, one order. Small? 25 baht for this uh, fried peanuts. Thank you. Oh, no bag, it's okay, we eat. <laughs> ค่ะเดี๋ยวเราก็จะมีอาหารสําคัญให้นะครับข้าวกับสวัสดีสําหรับลูกค้าที่เดินทางมาใหม่มาจากลานจอดรถนะครับและทางด้านชายคลองเป
Yeah, push it. What do you, th what do you think, Forrest? You want? You want? Push it, me. Here, let's get another one. You want to get him? Oh, jeez, oh, nice, Cedar. You regret that decision? Right in the gut. Right in the gut. Here, take the other one on. All right, so to go with the Muay Thai shorts, of course, we have to come back and, get, and the uh, get the gloves. I thought he was going to forget about them. That's the first thing he said off the boat. He's <laughs> probably been thinking about them the whole boat ride. All right, Muay Thai. On. All right, Forrest, give me a punch. Don't charge me, Christmas. Push, ready, go. <laughs> Push for him. Oh, 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 oh. Regret this decision. Yeah, it could be. That could be. Uh, Forrest could be the Muay Thai champion uh, of Thailand here. <laughs> I find my purse. I'm not laughing. Here we go. Got it. Get your thumb. Oh, yeah. I'm not laughing. Okay. Okay. Yes, right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Show me your fist. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a great look at the Talong Chong Market. What you say, Cal? Oh, it's awesome. So many different things to do between the food, the boat ride, the fish. I mean, just awesome. Yep. What was your kind of your favorite takeaway? I think the boat ride through the canals, just seeing the the houses on the water and the lizards and everything. For the extra thousand baht for our family of five, totally worth the private boats. Uh, yeah, good time. My, my surprise meal, uh, favorite food, was certainly that cut up pig between the ears, the cheeks, the snout. That was a oh, really good yeah, mix. Good. I mean, the food was all good. Let me pull in the kids. Cedar, Forrest, yeah. what was your kind of favorite food of the day? Mine was a fish. The salt and fish. Salted fish? With the, with the green sauce. Yeah, the green sauce is great. Yeah. Really nice. Some nice spice. Granted, what about your favorite activity or dish of the day? My favorite dish was the pancakes. Oh, these right here. Yeah. Perfect. Those were good. Yeah. And my second favorite is the fish with the sauces and noodles. Excellent. Also the salted fish. Yeah. So that's that's a must, the salted fish while you're here. Forrest, what did you think of today? What's your favorite activity? Getting the Thai? Yeah, yeah man. Muay Thai, dude. What a champ. Whoa! Cool. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that look. Uh, before I get knocked out, we'll see you in the next episode.